Hey everyone, this is Shane Keith again, um, creator of Classic Doc and now Finesse, which just came out today. Um, I just got a request to do a, well not really to do a tutorial, but more of a how-to question, and I always see this in the forums. Basically, we're going to talk about um, how to basically do all those keyboard shortcuts out there. So for quick launch, um, for SMS, for browser, whatever, it could be for anything, right? Even shortcut me. So what I want to show you first of all is um, I have the simulator open right now. And I'm going to show you something that's going to help out here. It's, it's something called module nodes, right? So we're going to go into applications, right? And right now, oh, let's say Sudoku. And I don't have quick launch obviously launched on here, but let's just go and scroll down. So you see the module's name right there. You're gonna write that down, right? Well, I'm not just figuratively speaking, but whatever app it is, just write that name down. So for um, quick launch, it has to be even case sensitive. It has to be the exact same way. So for quick launch. It's capital Q U I C K capital L A U N C H. Okay, that's the module name. So for each program, they have it. So let's go into Texas Hold'em. Right there, it is T H K blah 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 whatever. It's got to be exact. And right um, now, of course, if it's not um, if it's not a third-party program, it's already in Composer. All right, so I'll show you more information on that. Um, just click on interactivity. Well, after you made your theme or whatever. Right now, this is a blank theme, but click on interactivity, hotkey actions. Now, what we want to do, you basically this area allows you on the hit of say the letter T or the space bar on the BlackBerry, it allows you to do a whole bunch of actions. So I mean, this could play an animation. This could hide a component, show a component. But what we want to do is to launch an application. Now, what that application is, if it's say the browser, it's a BlackBerry application. So we select the browser, right? If it's a third-party application, which like it is Quick Launch, right? That's Quick Launch, and the application menu. You could hit the app. Say you hit instead of whatever spacebar brings up the application menu whatever it is so right now quick launch is the most popular that a lot of people want to know so third party application quick launch right no space it has to be case sensitive like I said right so let me show you I'll go back to the simulator go back into applications and yeah, Sudoku like I said it has to be capital S U D O K U underscore v46 it has to be that whole thing it has to be proper this for texas hold'em it has to be capital t it has to be hk you get the idea so let's go back third party application so you select this now we're going to hit next key typed and okay like i said if you want it to the be the letter b anytime someone hits the b on the blackberry it's ready to go. It will pop up the quick launch. But what we want is, I always use spacebar because it's the most common used one um, for quick launch. So hit spacebar. Now don't be scared. It actually picked up the spacebar. It's showing a blank. Why? Because it's obviously space. It doesn't show anything. So you click OK. And you're done. That's it. Now if you want to add more, hotkey actions again, interactive hotkey actions. And just click that again, launch application. And then let's do browser this time. And B. Now you could also, you don't have to close it, click OK all the time. You could just duplicate right here. Next key typed, let's say um, number sign. That's very popular because it's right at the top left hand corner um, another one people like is SMS or let's do SMS and MMS okay and then click OK obviously export it and then put it into theme um, theme builder and 
pretty much that's it. That's how easy it is. So thanks for watching.